California and the Southwest have been dealing with a barrage of storms in the last week, and unfortunately, another powerful storm is on the horizon. The storm is expected to bring more rain, Sierra snow, and strong winds just days after the state was hammered by a bomb cyclone. The storm is expected to hit Northern California on Monday afternoon and then spread into the rest of the region at night with rain, wind, and increasing Northern Sierra snow. Tuesday is expected to be the peak day of the storm, with rain, wind, and heavy Sierra snow persisting in Northern California. The storm is expected to arrive in Southern California on Tuesday night with rain, wind, and high mountain snow. Showers and a few thundershowers are expected to linger on Wednesday, especially over Central and Southern California. Snow showers will also continue in the high country. Rain and mountain snow will push into Utah and Arizona, and that could linger into Thursday. The upcoming storm is expected to be on the colder side with only a weak to moderate atmospheric river. That's because its instigator will be an upper-level system diving southward from the Gulf of Alaska rather than an approach from the west or southwest. The potential impacts from this storm are multiple feet of additional snowfall in the Sierra, with some heavy snow also expected in the Siskiyous and highest elevations of Southern California. Strong wind gusts are possible as the cold front swings into the state from north to south. These wind gusts could down trees and knock out power, especially given how soaked the ground is. At least some locally heavy rain is possible, especially in the coastal ranges and foothills below snow level in California, which could trigger local flash flooding and at least a few landslides slash debris flows. This is also a pattern conducive for isolated thunderstorms packing hail and perhaps spawning a few tornadoes both in California. After this storm, much of California and the southwest will have drier weather extending at least into the first weekend of April as the storm track shifts into the Pacific Northwest and Northern Rockies. Beyond that, NOAA's Climate Prediction Center is forecasting April to skew drier than average for much of California and the desert southwest. We're also drawing closer to the typical end of California's wet season. Over 90% of San Francisco's average rain falls from November through April. From April through June, that amounts to about 2.5 inches of rain in an average spring. In the Sierra, just under 10% of Tahoe City's snowfall typically happens from April through the beginning of the dry season. That amounts to about 17 inches of snow left to fall after March 31st. In a typical wet season, California's snowpack usually reaches its peak around April 1st. While flood concerns will be top of mind as we monitor how fast the snowpack melts in spring and how much more snow or rain falls, at least there is some light at the end of the tunnel following what has been a very wet siege of storms over the last month or so. The recent storms have caused significant damage, including downed trees, power outages, and flooding. The tornadoes that danced briefly through the Los Angeles Basin were particularly notable, including L.A. County's first one-rated tornado, EF-1, in 40 years. Multiple feet of snow fell in the high country of Southern California, stranding some vehicles trying to navigate snowy roads in San Bernardino County. Rain and melting snow triggered major flooding in parts of Arizona, particularly in the Mogollon Rim north of Phoenix. More snow pushed Utah to its record-tying snowpack, and its largest in over 40 years. These areas need a break, and it is hoped that the upcoming storm will not cause significant damage or flooding. Californians and those in the Southwest are urged to stay safe, stay informed, and take appropriate precautions during this stormy weather season.